Hey, good afternoon. It's Chip Brown at STK Homes. How are you? And I, I'm fighting with a little bit of a equipment off to my left, but I'm here at 9216 Northwest 147th Terrace. And I'm in front of our Aspen house plan. This house closes uh, tomorrow, and I thought it'd be useful to get inside this house, show you what the Aspen plan looks like when it's all tidied up and ready to close. So this Aspen has a really pretty covered porch. Landscaping's in, very typical of the landscaping that comes with this house plan. But again, we're here in Monroe and we're out in front of and getting ready to walk into our Aspen plan. This is a wonderful house plan, very, very popular. It's a one story. It has four bedrooms and it has three full baths. And this house is 2,840 square feet. I'm gonna take my shoes off so I don't get this really nicely cleaned up house messed up. But up above here, you see a nice barrel vault to what is this foyer. You look down, you'll see wood look tile, tile front to back or north to south. But on our left, barn doors that open into what is a great study, a great library, a great office, or great Zoom room. Um, like all of our houses, you'll see a cable outlet and an uh, internet uh, hookup. You'll also see a USB uh, power pad over there for... Um, uh, charging up devices, but all of our houses will come with lighting packages that include ceiling fans in all the studies, in all the bedrooms. But as you walk into this foyer of our Aspen, as I said, 2,840 square feet, first thing off to our left is an office. <clears throat> with this foyer, before we go too far into the house, we want to make our way to the right to see really these, um, I want to say linen cabinets, but some great extra storage three stories of storage, three cabinets stacked on each other, but bedroom here in the front. Good size, uh, num bedroom number one, we'll say. Um, electronic contacts for all the operable windows tied to our security system. Um, that's an included feature in all of our homes here in the uh, Oklahoma City Metro, uh, but you'll see a great, a good size closet to go with this great bedroom. All the bedrooms, like I said, come with a ceiling fan. There is a cable jack there also. Now, our um, our bathroom, a nice closet, and certainly a great, good size frame mirror with a pediment above, a cabinet above the commode. Uh, what you'll notice is tile all the way to the ceiling. You'll also notice a real steel porcelain coated tub. Delta is the manufacturer of all of our plumbing faucets and, and uh, hardware, uh, the uh, shower head above, but behind this tile is part of the Schluter shower system. Here, we don't need to use the shower base like we do in the owner's bath, which I'll show you in a minute, but we employ their curdy membrane. So Schluter's curdy membrane is behind the mud set, behind this tile, which allows for and guarantees no leaks, no mold, and a waterproof shower enclosure for this first of three bathrooms. Elongated commodes, undermount sink, and again, the, uh, the Delta uh, faucet hardware. But as we walk a little further up this foyer, instead of making our left into the great room and down that hallway, let's keep going to bedroom number two. Another great size bedroom with a cable jack, what ceiling fan above, good size closet as you can see, um, and uh, really great carpet that was picked for this. Matches nicely with this wood look tile. And this wood look tile, by the way, in our study and throughout the, the main areas is an included feature. Um, tile was selected obviously uh, for this second full bath. Again, a nice big frame mirror, pediment above, you know, cabinet above the commode, and again, tile all the way to the ceiling, a real tub, uh, and the curdy membrane behind. You'll notice 
surface mounted LEDs throughout the house. Uh, don't give off much heat, last forever, um, and are really super uh, energy efficient. Bedroom number three, probably, you know, maybe as big as the one in the front, we'll say, but again, comes with a ceiling fan, cable jack, uh, and closet, good size closet, but really good size bedroom um, for bedroom number three here. Uh, in our Aspen house plan. Again, another stacked, three stacked cabinets for linens, extra storage, shelving above also. Shows a great example of our wood, or of our soft close cabinet hardware, which we have throughout our house, all the drawers, all the uh, cabinet doors and um, the included hardware, and with this house, it is a brushed nickel version. Um, very classic, traditional base molding that you see. But here's, here's the money shot for the Aspen house plan. A spectacular cathedral ceiling on what is an, an amazing kitchen with a double island and then a great big dinette on the other side of that island. You have two nice uh, uh, top window, you know, I don't want to say top lights, but you have some windows that are above our big 3060s there. Um, and this great room and this kitchen area and this dinette or dining room area or breakfast nook area. I mean, this is where 95% of most families spend their time. Um, we upgraded the lighting package here. Uh, you'll notice this is a, um, a brushed nickel version. Here in Monroe, you get under cabinet lighting. You get glass uppers with LED lights up there also. You'll notice a gorgeous quartz countertop on both islands. And this island has storage front and back. Houses here at Monroe all will come uh, with a microwave above and a wall oven beneath. Uh, your dishwasher is over on that front island. You have two doors leaving this dinette or kitchen or breakfast area out to what is, has yet to be power washed, that'll be tomorrow morning, but what is our covered patio? And again, a cathedral ceiling covered patio with uh, some articulated LED lights out there that angled that, that you can angle down or, or angle however which way you'd like. Out on our great big backyard here uh, in this house here in Monterey, um, great example of what is our uh, Bermuda sod, which is front sides and rear. Um, an irrigation system with this is probably 10 zones on this house, but a rainbow irrigation comes with all of our houses. This integral blinds, comes with all of our patio doors also. Now that I got this one looking a little bit better, we can see out that door. Um, but this is the great room and the kitchen. Like I said, this is where everybody spends most of their time. What a beautiful room, feels great by the way. Lots of good sight lines, uh, loads of windows, um, and an awful lot of natural light. But as we leave the kitchen area, we look across to what is a really good sized pantry, separated on the other side of what is this hallway. But as we make our way across this hallway to um, the entrance coming in from the garage, you'll see a, um, a coat closet here where we always have our battery backup uh, and our um, battery backup for the security system and the low voltage boxes there. Um, out in our garages, and I'm not going to go too far because it's soaking wet out here. They just installed um, a storm shelter, which was part of a current incentive that we have. Um, and over there is your rainbird irrigation system. There's also a, um, a electric vehicle plug. Uh, and then steps going up to some storage up above where we always have extra tile, extra grout, etc., that we store up there for folks. But garage door openers here over to our left is where the kind of the heart of our plumbing is. 
There is a um, backflow preventer for the irrigation system here. Uh, we have our Navian tankless hot water there. Um, and what you'll notice uh, is uh, a incredibly efficient um, and what we like to call endless hot water. It's not instantaneous hot water, but it is endless, that's for sure. So that's where our tankless is. And this is our big three car garage. Let's come back in. You see a nice drop, you have a drop zone here, uh, kind of a, a mud bench with storage above. And then to our left, we'll make our way into what is the utility, utility room. Um, and here in the Aspen, you have a nice quartz countertop. You have great storage above. You got closet rods there for hanging, folding, folding your laundry. You got your dryer here with the dryer vent. Your washing machine obviously is gonna go here. But you also have an extra closet here that has, I thought there was a light, but there isn't. Um, extra storage, extra storage for your utility room. We'll make our way into the owner's closet uh, with seasonal, seasonal storage and closet rods all the way up there. More than likely, owners of this house are going to are going to be uh, all of a sudden become owners of a um, uh, shepherd's hook, so they can get stuff down. Or certainly, um, uh, this is a great example of uh, what is this really nice owner's closet with a built-in here, and then you'll notice that you see uh, a mirror and some shoe shelves there. I'm going to make my hey, how you doing? Great, how are you? I'm doing good. And then out here in our uh owner's bath where you have a you got a, a framed mirror on both sides separate vanities nice big jetta tub freestanding uh you have a big walk-in roman shower you got a big separate water closet with cabinets above the commode um really you know a bit of an ensuite i think some people like to call it but jetta tub uh here from edmond oklahoma and uh the freestanding does nice with that uh a handheld uh, shower. I want to say when you're in your tub, you can kind of use your shower with that handheld thing. But um, good example of what the Aspen full owner's bath looks like. And here is our owner's bedroom with a raised tray ceiling, ceiling fans, really good size owner's bedroom. Uh, and this is... Um, you have a great big bed wall on that side or this side, depending upon uh, what what the owner of this house is and uh, whoever decides to make this house their home, it's gonna have a great choice to figure out where that all is gonna go and then other furniture to kind of populate what is this great owner's bedroom. But we'll make our way back out of the owner's bedroom out to this hallway and then take a look again back at what is this great room and kitchen and uh, dinette area. You'll notice they did a herringbone pattern on that tile uh, that is the backsplash and then the same with a little different tile uh, on the fireplace. Um, but what a lovely house this Aspen is. Uh, and I'm really um, glad that I was able to get in here and get this video done to share with you because we have three additional Aspens that we're going to have here in Montereau uh, that will be available uh, for that next homeowner that decides that this floor plan is the one they've fallen in love with and they want to make this house into their new home here in Montereau. So like I said, we'll have three opportunities. There's two on Roquefort and there's one over on uh, 144th Place uh, and three Aspens just waiting for you. Like I said, this has some great sight lines. And it is a really good sized great room that everybody who has this house and made it into their home absolutely rave about. But again, Chip Brown here at STK and uh, this is our Aspen plan. And uh, again, the office, bedrooms, three full baths and uh, 
I will bid you adieu. It's Chip Brown. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, 27th of April. Hope everybody's well. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and this is our Aspen plan. We're building a couple of these and have one on the ground up in uh, at uh, Water Market Ridge Creek and then another one to be built. Uh, and then three more of this plan here in Montero. Take care, have a great one, and thanks for your time. See ya.